Tonight, we are learning more about a woman whose boyfriend confessed to killing her. It happened last weekend, reportedly after the two left the Diamonds Billiard Club together. Now, the woman's family told police that her boyfriend had a history of domestic violence against her. The boyfriend was arrested for criminal homicide earlier this week. The woman's remains were located just off Interstate 75 in Catoosa County. Now, we're learning more about the victim, Brooke Killings, and exactly who she was. Dallas Payton tells us more. Brooke Killings was a loving mother, daughter, and sister. She leaves behind two boys and a baby girl. Her loved ones say she's the type of person that will put her life on the line for any and everyone. She was probably the strongest person that I know out of everybody that I've met, everybody in my family, she is strong physically and mentally. Hannah Williams is one of Brooke Killings' sisters. Killings was a Saudi Daisy High School graduate, a multi-sport athlete who was super competitive with anything she was involved in. That competitive spirit translated over to her time serving our country. She enlisted in the Army at 19, and she was in there for 11 years. Uh, got all the way up to Staff Sergeant. She fought in two wars over in Afghanistan and Iraq. William says she'll miss her sister very much. Well, when I was little, you know, she used to always dress me up and do my hair. And even now, you know, I would still always ask her to do my hair and everything. Um, but no, I think the fact of just because she was my first go-to person to talk to about everything. She says the loss has been incomprehensible. I didn't think it was real. I still don't think it's real. Um, it's just, you know, she was, she was my sister and something like this is just hard to understand and fully wrap your brain around what's happened. Although Killings is no longer here, her family is going to stand by her side as if she was. We, all of her family is gonna show up supporting her during all court dates. Um, and we strongly encourage anybody that was super close to her to also show up to those court dates to support her. For Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.